in order to advance the health and security of our nation and all nations. As we announced yesterday, the U.S. government has put a hold on funding to the WHO, World Health Organization, pending a review of the organization's cover-up and mismanagement of the coronavirus outbreak over the objections of the WHO. We took decisive action and early life-saving action to suspend travel from China. They didn't want to do it. They were angry that we did it. It was early on. They were angry that we did it. it. Took them a long time to realize what was going, but I have a feeling they knew exactly what was going on. Tragically, other nations put their trust in the WHO, and they didn't do any form of ban. And you see what happened to Italy. You see what happened to Spain. You see what happened to France. WHO's guidance had failed to control their borders at a very crucial phase, quickly unleashing the contagion around the world. That was a horrible, tragic mistake, or perhaps they knew. I'm sure they didn't know the gravity of it, but perhaps they knew. Because if they knew the gravity, that would be an even worse offense. But we're spending $500 million to the World Health Organization, and there's something very bad going on. And you know what? I've gotten very much involved. It's been going on for a long period of time, and we don't want to be the suckers anymore. So it's cold out. We will talk to you tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Very big day. Thank you.